Hey, this is Kez from SpiderWeb Press. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with the Website Weaver. And the first thing you need to do is, of course, install the Website Weaver plugin and the AAA starter theme that you get with it. Now, when you purchase and download the product, you'll receive a file named unzip me, etc, etc. And as the name suggests, the first thing you need to do is just unzip that file. So once you've unzipped, you'll see two folders. You have the AAA starter theme folder and the AAA starter theme is inside there. And you have the website weaver folder, which, in, which uh, has the website weaver plugin inside. Uh, you also have a little shortcut file here. If you double click this file, that will take you to the help site. So you can go there and read through all of the written documentation for the website weaver. So the first thing we're going to do is install the AAA starter theme. So I have a fresh installation of WordPress here. All you have to do is expand the appearance tab, click themes, click install themes, upload, and just browse to the, the place that you extracted your files. So grab the AAA starter theme, click open and hit the install button. And you can go ahead and activate that theme once it's installed. So now on the front end, you'll see that the theme is now active. So now that you have a Website Weaver theme active, you have something to use the Website Weaver on. So you can go ahead and install the Website Weaver plugin. So plugins, add new in the left menu here. Click upload. Browse into the Website Weaver folder. Grab the Website Weaver zip. Click open and install now. And you can activate the plugin. Now, once you've activated, under the appearance section of your menu here, you'll see a Website Weaver link. So you can just click that and that will open up the editing interface. Now, once you've installed the Website Weaver plugin, you'll be able to click on the link that shows up in the left menu here. And you'll see that your Website Weaver preview area is now active and you can start using it to begin the process of customizing your theme.